Hi everyone, it's Lisa and welcome to Proverbs Home. I hope you're doing great today. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Lisa and welcome. And I want to welcome all my new subscribers and my subscribers that have been here for a while and my friends. Hi everyone, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I'm going to be talking about being compared to others. How do we feel about that? Because I think it's a very important topic i think sometimes we struggle with comparing ourselves to others when we shouldn't or sometimes people compare us to others and forget our own individuality that god's given us so i thought that was a great topic to talk about but i'm going to show you what i'm drinking right now i am drinking warm water with orange and honey that's all warm water with orange and honey those oranges that you have that seem kind of stale you feel they're not as juicy as you thought they were just slice those up dehydrate them if you have a dehydrator or just slice them up into chunks put them in a jar in a container in your refrigerator and just some hot water with lemon and you could even mix it with lemon it tastes so good or put some honey in there it's just really delicious so that's what i'm having right now and I hope everybody is doing great. Well, I want to show you something else that I thought about recycling and using. I thought maybe you would think this is a good idea. And it's using these containers that we get our strawberries and blueberries in. And I had all these extra tea bags. And I thought these were great and they're pretty, right? The stickers are so pretty. And I thought these are great to put tea bags in. So if you have any extra tea bags around your kitchen, you know, that you're like, oh, I don't know what to do with these. Just wash these containers really good. You know, once you've eaten the fruit or the blueberries or whatever's in them, and then put your tea bags in there. Yeah, I think they're great. I love using these. I think they're great. You can use them for other things. You can use them in your craft room for storage, pencils. You can put stamps in here. I have lots of stamps. So you can put stamps in here. You can put so many things and use these and recycle them. And here goes another one. And I just recycled them and I have my teas in there. Yeah, so I thought that was a good idea and I wanted to share that with you. These can be used also to make many greenhouses. You can use these for so many different things. They're really cool. And then I want to show you what else I was working on. I made my own potpourri. Now, my husband gave me flowers for our anniversary. And I let them, they were drying out and I, I let them dry out. I'm like, I'm going to let them dry out. Then I put them in the dehydrator and I made my own potpourri. I use this essential oil. It's called Sweet Orange and Spearmint. And these lids that you see, I have bought a pack of these lids for this two in a pack at the Dollar Tree. I had them put away for a while. Then these jars you see here with the lace ribbon, I found these at the Salvation Army. They were 99 cents each. I was going to use them for canning. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make some potpourri. Save on air freshener. So I dehydrated my flowers. I put them in here. I put a little bit of this orange peppermint essential oil. It smells amazing. And then I thought, wait a minute. I have those lids. The lid fit perfectly. It's got these little openings. And I just put them in the bathroom. Yeah. Mm, they smell amazing. So I put one in the bathroom. I don't know. I may put this one in this room. Just leave it in the craft room. But I walked in my bathroom after putting it in there and it smelled so nice. So I was so happy that I made these little potpourri jars. You can find these at the Dollar Tree and just put them on your jars. And they're so pretty. They look like little orange slices. So really pretty. So, yeah, I wanted to share that with you because there's so many things you can do and you can upcycle in your home. Some things I have learned from watching videos. I have learned from different channels. Like when it comes to canning, I'll bring that up, canning. You ladies that are new in canning like I am, now there's some pros out there watching this, but I'm talking about those who are maybe are not at that level yet and we're still learning. It's just so much fun watching videos and learning different things and saying, wow, I could do that or that and just learning. So we all learn from, we can all learn something from one another. We can either learn something from one another's story and life. We can learn something from somebody's tutorial or something that somebody does that we've never done before. I always believe we can learn from one another. I really believe that. I like to watch videos that I'm learning something. There's something that I'm going to take out of that video that's useful and that I can use 
in my life that I can reflect on and focus on and use in my life. So I like those kind of videos. We're all different. We all learn at different levels. We all, you know, I used to teach at a Montessori school and we do a lot of hands-on learning with the kids there at the Montessori schools. And um, it's not traditional learning, like we go in a classroom, get the textbook out, this and that, you know, because children learn in different forms. And Montessori schools, they teach more on hands-on learning, you know, and I agree with both learning techniques, but I think textbooks are important, but I also think hands-on learning. And I'm a hands-on learner. That's how I learn. I like to see things, visualize it, and then try it. And sometimes it's easy for me to compare myself with somebody else that does what I cannot do very well. And I'm here to say today, we should not do that. Yes, we can learn from one another. Yes, we can learn little tidbits. We can take a little bit here, a little bit there and learn and, you know, learn. Oh, OK, I'm not supposed to do that when I'm canning. Oh, OK, I'm supposed to sew a blanket like that. I'm supposed to make a quilt like this, you know, different things. But you're supposed to put your individual touches to whatever it is you do. I think that's so important to use our individual touches, to learn what we need to learn, and then take those things and individually apply them to our life. What happens is we want to make like, you see some of these recipe videos, like especially if you're on Facebook or something, you scroll and they have the right camera, the recipe comes out perfect. And then when you try to do it, it doesn't look like it did in the camera, right? On the video. Or just like when you go out to eat at a restaurant, you know, they have this really nice picture of what you're going to order. But when you get it, it's not the same like in the picture, things like that. And sometimes we're very hard on ourselves. We can be very hard on ourselves instead of saying, you know what? This is what I learned to do. It came out delicious and it may not look like the picture, but it's good. And I did a great job. Learn to not compare yourself to others or what you do. It's so easy for us to do that. I do that sometimes, I'm being honest. Then I'm like, well, why is not mine coming out like that? Well, because I wasn't meant to do it like someone else. I was meant to do it the way God wants me to do it. That is in my household. That is when it comes to um, ministry. Whatever you're doing in your life, don't compare yourself to others. We are all different. We may like some of the same things. We may like a little bit from here and we might have some things in common, but we still have our own individuality. And um, that's so important to have our own individuality. We can't do that. We can't compare ourselves to others or allow others to constantly compare us to someone else because we're all individuals. You know, even our channels, the way we create our videos, we can take a little bit here and there and say, oh, I'm going to make a video about this. This looks interesting or whatever it is. But we cannot get to the point that we're comparing ourselves to another content creator. We cannot do that because then we're losing who we are. My videos are individual. They're things I like. They're things that I enjoy. And you know what's even great about that? That I have some great um, content creators that I watch that I've learned from. And I will say it on here that I learned different things. And they, I love their videos. But I am still an individual. My content is individual. It is something that I love to do and I try to make it as individual as possible. Be an individual. We have things in common. All of us have things in common, right? I have a yellow blouse. You may love the color yellow. You may wear yellow too. Um, I may put my tea bags in here and maybe you have done the same thing. It doesn't mean we're copying. It just means that we have a lot in common. We have things in common. But we're still individuals. And even, you know, there's not two twins in this world that are exactly, exactly the same. Even if they're identical twins and they're not fraternal, they still have difference in personalities. They have still have difference in traits. Remember, be who you are, no matter what it is. Your videos are special, whatever it is you do. Be who you are. 
be what you like to do. If you like dressing a certain way, dress the way you like to dress. You know, I believe in being modest. I believe in moderation and being modest, especially as a Christian woman. Many of you know that I am a Christian woman. And I do believe in dressing modest. And I've always been like that. Even when I wasn't going to church, I grew up in church, but there was a time that I wasn't going, you know, that I was going, but I was in and out, that kind of thing. And, um, but I still dress modestly because my mom brought me up like that. She raised me like that, you know, but I enjoy that. I enjoy dressing the way I want to dress. I enjoy when I go out my house feeling good about what I have on. You know, I'm a woman in my mid fifties already, but I still like what I like. I like my bonnets. Some of you see me make videos with bonnets. I got an itch right there. Some of you have seen me make um, videos with bonnets on. I like hats. I like headbands. I like all kinds of things like that. But that's who I am. I've always been that way. That is my individuality. That is who I am. But I don't expect my friends to have to be like me. They are who they are. And I love them for who they are. We just got to be individually ourselves the way God's created us, whatever it is he's given us to do, just be ourselves. I got tired of trying to impress others. You get tired of that. It wears you out because they're never going to be satisfied. You know, when we try to impress others, they're never going to be satisfied. And they're going to expect you to be more and more and more. So I'm just who I am. I mess up at times. I don't always speak right. No one does. I don't always do everything right, but I do have common sense and I use it. And um, that's important to me. Wisdom, like wisdom to me is the biggest gift to have. It's not beauty. It's not a car. It's not a big house. Wisdom, common sense, to know to make good choices, to not make choices that are going to not be good for my life. Be who you are. Be who you are. I am who I am because God created me. I'm no one else. I'm like no one else. I am me. We may have things in common. You know, a lot of us do. I'm sure a lot of you that watch this have things in common with me and I have things in common with you, but you are an individual and I have to treat you as such. And I have to respect you as an individual. Your content is individual. And um, I just wanted to share that. I was thinking about, okay, what could be a good topic? I haven't done one of these in a while. I thought being myself, not comparing yourself to someone else. Your cooking, your art, whatever it is you do, the way you decorate your home, love who God has created you. I'm not saying fall in love with yourself because, you know, there's a saying out there that says, you know, just fall in love with yourself. Well, no, God says for us to be humble and meek and loving, and to love others, to show God's mercy and grace to others. That's what God tells us to do. Yes, we're to be content in who we are through Him, through Jesus Christ. We're to be content, right? If you're a Christian, you know that. We're to be content and like who we are, but we're not to think we're better than others. And we're not to be in love with ourselves to the point that we think we're better and everything we do is better. But we're also, with that said, not to put ourselves down and think that we need to be like someone else or be compared to anyone else. Be who God's made you to be. And remember, you compare to no one. Don't worry, you haven't lost that five extra pounds you want to lose. Embrace those five extra pounds. Be healthy, eat a little better, but don't compare your body to anyone else or your crafts or anything you do. Anyway, that's it for today. Let's just not forget to like who God has created and be content with who you are. Most of all, if you need to ask God for forgiveness, that's very important. I am talking about personalities, individualities, but we still have to go to God with our lives. So I hope you have a great day. This is my orange drink. It's so good. It is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share.
so other people can see this video and share with their friends. So God bless everyone, and I'll talk to you all later, and I love you all. Thank you to all my friends and all my new subscribers. Bye. Thank you.